2008 when we ran natural selection here with Jackson Hole. That kind of sparked this bigger idea, bringing it to its full expression as the natural selection tour. Super excited to be here for the natural selection test event. Really didn't know what to expect coming into this. Honestly, I think any expectations that I might have had were just blown away. What we have here is like a sliver of the bigger picture. And when we open it up, it's gonna be a lot different. First two days, just doing scoping laps with all the riders and picking each other's brains, talking about speed, features. You land that jump. If you don't, you don't have to point it, but you do one yeah. setup turn into it. Scoping, scoping. Everyone's from a different background, and it was quite a diverse group of snowboarders. Do you guys like this, the, the pop on this? I would like a little more pop on that one, but that's just me. So at first thought, I was like, how are we just going to go into this thing blind and just know <laughs> how to ride it? At first, you're shell-shocked. It was so sick. It looked amazing, but it was also nerve-wracking. This course is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> the rock ride? It oh, almost yeah. looks doable. Packed out takeoffs and untouched landings for weeks. It's as good as it gets. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. <laughs> and safe quote. The course in Jackson is honestly something that I think every snowboarder could dream of. It's natural features, a couple jumps, you know, big gaps, small gaps. It's really everything that you want in a freestyle course where you could do a 720 on one or just straight air this huge gap. And, you know, they could weigh the same in an event. I think with it, it's just, just, yeah. just, hold, just hold your speed, kind of cut it, and, you know, yeah. a little yeah. bit. Travis kind of put me on the spot. So he's like, you're going first. You can't really say no. I can't say I wasn't a little nervous, like four jumps in a row, but that's just the beginning of like a bigger picture. To be able to see, you know, some of the best in the world come out and give her under incredibly perfect Jackson Hole conditions, it's beautiful. That is a little popper. Dropping in first, fresh tracks, natural selection. He got this. Go oh, fast, ball. jump hard. The frog goblin. Three, two, one. Oh. Mondo Muchacho on the last one. That was sick. Once we even broke the seal, it was just like, game on, and everybody just started sending. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I was the second one to drop behind Sweet and rode down to him and just saw, you know, heard him hooting and hollering, and I was hooting and hollering. anything that fun in a very long time. As soon as I went off that first jump, it was like, the snow is good, the jump is perfectly lined up, like, this is gonna be on. First run through it, honestly, everything flowed up so well and there was plenty of space to how to ditch speed and line up the next feature. Like Paul, he's got so much fluidity and the ability to make chaos look somewhat in control.
Hana was finding these little misty lines. She was doing these little cliff drops at the bottom that I thought was awesome off the side of her name, Master Blaster feature. It was a good practice in finding alternate lines and kind of exploring and being maybe a little more creative. Sage rolled up and he opened up the Master Blaster just with this like insane floater, overshot it, and just stomped right in the tranny. That run was rogue. <laughs> Dude. That was going slow off it. It's buck in there, isn't it? Yeah. Cowboy. Yeah. Who runs by the town? The jumps were, I feel like, the perfect size, very manageable. Each jump lined itself up perfectly for the next, and it was, yeah, it was a dream. Dropping in three, two, one, drop. Snow was just so fluffy, you would be like landing and and another pop, it was, it was gorgeous, like, it was so beautiful. Seeing Verney front three, the big master blaster at the bottom. He's so fun to watch Snowwood. We had no podium, but I think that it was super clear at the end. Verney was MVP. I think I did great on the course, I loved it. It was really good snow, and uh, I had to Google what means MVP. <laughs> It's funny, like, it didn't felt like shooting or competing or whatever. It was just shredding with the best shredders of the world. The best backcountry riders out there that exist. Like, historically, presently, and everywhere in between. And everybody's got something unique to give. I mean, it was just such a pleasure to see everybody just in such high spirits. Selection natural. It's insane to have Nico here, and Nico anywhere at, a, at your home mountain is always going to blow you away. This event was a small version of, of what we're building. We're, we're still working towards this launch next year in 2021. We wanted to run an event so people better understand what it is that we're doing. This is such a group effort. So many thank yous to our whole production team, Jackson Mount Resort, Park and Pipe Crew, Ski Patrol for having our back here on the mountain, running safety. You know, on top of that, the riders and the entire snowboarding community for continuing to back us. And, you, you know, it, it takes a village. We can't do this on our own.